Hello friends, in this video, let us discuss about the advantages of bundle conductor. So we often witness in the transmission lines, where instead of using a single conductor per phase, we are using multiple conductors per phase in order to gain some advantages of using those multiple conductors per phase. And uh, the name bundle conductor is given to those conductors where a phase is having more than a single conductor, then you can say it is a bundle conductor. If you are having a phase, if you are having a phase with more than one conductor, with more than one conductor, then that conductor group can be called as the bundle conductor. So these conductors are grouped together by a metallic structure. They are grouped together by a metallic structure called spacer and this spacer joins all your conductor per phase. So in a phase you may be generally having two conductors or three conductors or four conductors and all the conductors are joined by a metallic structure as you see here. This is a metallic structure, the green portion is your metallic structure and the blue portion is a uh, conductors, two conductors. So this is one phase of two conductors, this is one phase of three conductors and this is one phase of four conductors and uh, each conductor joined by your spacer belongs to the same phase. So the spacer does three jobs here. So the first job is it maintains the constant distance, it maintains the constant, constant distance between the conductors through the line length and the second thing is it avoids the clashing of, avoids the clashing of conductors among themselves and it places or it maintains the conductors to be connected in parallel throughout the line length. So these are the three jobs done by your spacer and spacer which is nothing but the metallic structure which is joining all the conductors per phase and generally we are using two conductors or three conductors or four conductors and uh, the three such groups of the three such groups it may be a phase having four conductors or it may be phase having three conductors or a phase having two conductors the, the three such groups are used to provide a single single circuit transmission line and uh, if you are having the six such groups then you can say it is a double circuit transmission line double circuit transmission line and such configuration we are using to transfer the bulk power to larger distances at higher voltage so to transmit a huge amount of power to longer distances at higher voltage levels we are using such configurations as we have several advantages of using bundle conductor instead of a single conductor and let us see what are the advantages being provided by these bundle conductors. So let us see the first advantage of using this bundle conductor instead of single conductor is the bundle conductor, usage of bundle conductor results in reduction of line inductance. It results in reduction of line inductance. So this reduction of line inductance provides us several advantages. So let us see how the inductance is going to reduce as we increase the conductors per phase. So let us say I am having a single conductor of radius r. So I know the inductance of a line or the line inductance is given by the line inductance is given by L is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of minus 7 natural log of GMD that is the geometric mean distance between the conductors and GMR that is the geometric mean radius. So if I have a conductor of radius r and the GMR for the conductor of radius r is given by that is a single conductor of radius r it is 0 0.7788 into r. Now let us find the GMR that is the geometric mean radius for a two conductor bundle. So I am say 
let me say this is my one conductor and this is my other conductor and the distance between the two conductors is d and uh, i know the gmr of a sing single conductor is 0.7788 r so the gmr for the two conductor bundle is given by gmr will be given by the fourth root of the fourth root of 0.7788 r into d square so first is here i am having 0.7788 r into this distance for one conductor and again here i am having 0.7788 r into this distance so i made it square and this will be resulting in 0.8825 into under root of rd so this is what you are getting for a two conductor bundle and let us see for a three conductor bundle place like this so this is the configuration of your three conductor bundle so let us see what is the gmr for the three conductor bundle your gmr for a three conductor bundle will be again given by ninth root now this time i am having three conductors that means it will become three square nine and again i am having 0.7788 r into d into d whole cube see because this distance is d this distance is d this distance is d if i consider this conductor it is having a gmr of 0.7788 r into this distance d into this distance d and similarly for the, this conductor and this conductor it gives me the cube so therefore it will be resulting in the value 0.92 into r d square this is what you get now let us consider the four conductor bundle place in like place in like in this manner so the gmr for the four conductor bundle will be again given by gmr for a four conductor now it will be the 16th root and it will be 0.7788 into d into d into suppose uh, this is your distance d this is your distance d this is your distance d this is d so if i consider this conductor it is 0.7788 r into this distance d into this distance d and this distance is under root of 2d so this is under root of 2d so this will be having a value of 1.02 into r d cube so here you can see as you are going to increase the conductors per phase so for two conductors it is 0.8825 into under root of rd for three conductor bundle for four conductor bundle as we are going to increase the number of conductors per phase the gmr is going to increase that means the conductors is having the number of conductors is having a direct relationship with the gmr as the conductor increases your gmr increases and from here as your gmr increases this l decreases so that means your l is going to decrease as the gmr increases so the bundle conductor results in the reduction of your inductance and this reduction of inductance provides the advantage of maximum power transfer transfer capacity of the line so the maximum power transfer capacity it is given by the power will be equal to vs vr by xl into sin of delta so as this xl it is omega l is decreasing so the maximum power transfer capacity of the line increases and the other advantage is as the reactance of line decreases the voltage regulation increases so basically reduction in the line inductance has these two major advantages now let's let's move to the second advantage so the second advantage i'm having is on the similar argu argument you can say as the gmr increases your l is increases and let us see what happens to the line capacitance there is a capacitance from the line line to neutral is given by 2 pi epsilon naught into logarithmic of natural logarithm go gmd by gmr so this is the line capacitance to neutral so as the gmr increases you are going to witness 
the capacitance increases. So here the relation comes like this, your L decreases as GMR increases and your C increases. Now we know the surge impedance can be given by that is the ZS if I indicate is under root of L by C. The surge impedance is given by under root of L by C that means my power the surge impedance loading SIL your SIL will be given by Vr square by this ZS. So here as C is more and L is less you will be witnessing your ZS to be a very low value and hence as this ZS is a very goes to very low value that means you can increase the surge impedance loading of the line which is nothing but the loading capacity of your line. So thereby you can have you or you can enhance the loading capacity of your line by decreasing the inductance by increasing the GMR that is nothing but the increasing the number of conductors per phase. So the third advantage is the important advantage of using this bundle conductor is the possibility of reduction of corona. So in order to reduce the corona, corona effect in the transmission line of high voltage levels we are basically moving for these bundle conductors. So in a single conductor when you transfer the power at high voltage levels the voltage gradient so the voltage gradient if I say this is a single conductor the voltage gradient around this single conductor is pretty high. So as the voltage gradient is pretty high it will ionize the air and the media the surrounding media will be in conduction mode and there will be a discharge of power so which can be overcome by using this bundle conductors as instead of using a single conductor if you use the conductors in close approximately forming a bundle conductor then the voltage gradient will be less. If I use multiple conductors which are uh, which are joined by the spacers then I will be having the voltage gradient to be less and this reduces your formation of corona and the increase in critical corona voltage the increase in critical corona voltage depends on three factors so the first one is it depends on the number of conductors it depends on number of conductors used in the group it depends on the clearance provided between them and it also depends on the distance between two groups forming separate phases. So the increase the increase in critical corona voltage depends on these three factors and it has been found optimum that the spacing between two conductors in a group is of the order of 8 to 10 times of the diameter of each conductor. So it has been found that the spacing between the conductors in a group is of the order of 8 to 10 times of diameter of each conductor irrespective of the conductors being used. So whatever may be the conductors you will use, you will use 5 or 6 or 7 or 8, it has been found that the spacing is of the spacing between the conductors is optimum when it is the distance is 8 to 10 times of the diameter of each conductor. So you can increase your critical corona voltage by employing more the number of conductors and uh, these 8 to 10 times of diameter of each conductor the spacing and uh, the more the distance between two groups forming separate phases. Now this reduction in corona the fourth advantage is this reduction in corona results in less power loss and this less power loss improves or it leads to improvement of transmission efficiency. So you will be having less power loss that means improved transmission efficiency due to the reduction of corona and uh, the fifth advantage you are having is this reduction in corona results in reduction in communication line interference. So this will be resulting in reduction in communication line interference and uh, the sixth advantage you can find is the ampacity or you can say the current carrying capacity of the bundle conductor increases compared to a single conductor owing to the reduced skin effect. 
So owing to the reduced skin effect, you are going to increase the current carrying capacity of the bundle conductor. So if I say this is my conductor and uh, this is my inner shell, uh, the core of the conductor. So as you move from the outer part to the inner part, the inductance in a single conductor increases and as the inductance at this part is more, that means the effective resistance of the conductor increases. So the current chooses a path that is the surface area to flow. Hence, the core area is deprived of current. That means no current is flowing in the core part, but the, all the current is flowing over the surface area. That is, you can say unequal distribution of current in a conductor. And this unequal distribution due to the effective increase in the resistance of the conductor results in the low current carrying capacity of the conductor. But when you employ two or three or four conductor per phase, that is the bundle conductor, you can increase the capacity or the current carrying capacity as we have witnessed, there is a fall in the inductance. So is, if there is a fall in inductance, that means you can say the current can be distributed evenly through the whole area of this or through the whole cross section of this conductor and the skin effect is mainly due to the increasing inductance as we move from the outer surface to the inner area. So as we are reducing the inductance, that means we are reducing the skin effect and that means we are increasing the current carrying capacity of the bundle conductors compared to a single conductor. And the seventh advantage you can say is, so as we are using the bundle conductors, the effective area, the effective area of being exposed to air is more and this has the effect of better and efficient cooling of the conductors. So this has the effect of better and efficient cooling of the conductors compared to the single phase that is a single conductor. So we are having a better performance of these bundle conductors over a single conductor. So these are all the main advantages of using bundle conductors in a transmission line. I hope you understood well. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.